You are always welcome at East Africa's best language school, Swahili Dar Language School in Tanzania. Habari, karibu, karibu sana, karibu kujifunza Kiswahili. Tunaendelea kujifunza Kiswahili na hapa tunajifunza high intermediate course. So the, this course, this topic is for high intermediate students. So if you are learning this topic and uh, you were, you, if, if you'll be able to understand it fully, you, my friend, uh, a high intermediate student. Okay, so now what we are going to do? Nini tutajifunza katika somo hili? Tutajifunza relative of mana. Relative of mana, vio. Vio as how. You remember, we learn relative of time, po as when. Po as when. You remember that? Today we are going to learn vio. Not po, vio as how. So, to be able to know this topic, we will have a lot of examples and also we are going to have zoezi. We are going to have zoezi here. So, you'll be able also to have zoezi. You will do all these sentences by yourself and you will play that video to check if what you understood was... Huh? Nina, nina, nina tumaini, nina tumaini utaweza, utaweza kutafsiri, kutafsiri sentences zote. You'll be able to translate all those sentences by yourself after learning. Okay, so that is vio. Vio is my topic. Vio is my topic. This vio. But I want to tell you, my friend, we are going to learn vio. But this vio has three friends, has friend rafiki vio ana marafiki watatu vio ana marafiki watatu rafiki wa kwanza ni that one jinsi o namna rafiki wa kwanza ni jinsi o namna do you know the meaning of jinsi o namna jinsi is how the way the same as namna, the way or how is a, a jinsi or namna. So if you use jinsi or if you use namna, it's the same thing. Every time you want to say how to and you say jinsi or namna, no problem at all. They're all the same. So rafiki namba mbili, we are going to see here. Rafiki namba mbili is... Kama, kama is the rafiki wa vio, number mbili, kama, that one, where is my other friend, that one, kama. Rafiki number tatu ni kadiri, kadiri, this one, rafiki number tatu wa vio. So, we are going to discuss, uh, to see, you know, kama, the meaning of kama, kama is as. I'm sure, I'm sure you understand that. kama Sometimes is if I write here kama. I know you know that uh, kama can be such as such as or kama can be like. So kama is like once you have a uh, two noun in a sentence, like leo. Kama jana. Today, leo ni kama jana. Today is like yesterday. Leo ni kama jana. So kama can be like once you have two noun in your sentence. Right? Na, 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 kama can also be such as once you have more than two noun in your sentence. Like uh, um, ninapenda, ninapenda sana chakula cha Africa. Ninapenda sana chakula cha Africa. Such as, kama. Ninapenda chakula cha Africa. I like African food. Such as, kama. Wali. That's rice. Ugali. You know ugali. Ndizi. You know ndizi. Mtori. Nyama choma. Chakula cha Africa. So, kama can be like 
Once you have two noun, skama can be such as once, once you have more than two noun. But karma can also be what? You know karma. What is karma? Karma is also? Yes, karma is also if. Once you have a verb in that sentence. So karma will be if. Once you have a verb in that sentence. If you like, you say, karma unapenda. Unapenda. If you like, karma unapenda. If you like, you can go if you like. You can go. Unaweza kwenda if you like. Kama unapenda. Kama is also if. So kama can be such as like if. But also, also, kama can be as. And that is what we are going to learn today. Kama will be as. Kama can be as in a sentence. Once you have vyo, you see this sentence? This sentence does not have vyo, so it means if. But once you have vyo in this sentence, this karma become as. So if you write sentence like, karma una vyo penda. This sentence here, karma una vyo penda, you have vyo. You see, this is the view. So now, this sentence is not, this karma is not if, like this one. This karma is not if. This karma now is as, and we are going to learn that. So, that's the Rafiki number mbili. That's the Rafiki number mbili wa vyo. Karma is the Rafiki number mbili wa vyo. So we are going to see jinsi or namna. We are going to see karma, like uh, the second friend, uh, of vyo and also rafiki watatu wa vyo is kadiri you know the meaning of kadiri kadiri are those sentences you want to say as far as as much as as long as you know those sentences these are the sentences we are going to see like this one as as so those sentences with as 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 you see those sentences with as, as, like as, as, as long as, as hard as, as much as, as far as, kadiri. So, leo ni siku. Today is the day. Leo ndiyo siku kujifunza. You are intermi high intermediate students now. So, you are going to learn those uh, a little bit complicated sentences. Okay, so let's start. Uh, let's start uh, to see the Rafiki, Rafiki wa vyo. Rafiki number one of vyo. Rafiki number one of vyo. Jinsi o namna. Jinsi o namna. How are we going to, to use jinsi o namna in sentences? That is our topic today. How are we going to use jinsi o namna in a sentence? So now, look at this sentence. And try to translate. Because you know, we, we, we talked... We talked in intermediate course. We talked a lot. Uh, we had uh, lo different sentences uh, in different topics. We learned before about genes, like the way, you know, I've been saying. Today, we are learning how to say. Leo tunajifunza how to say. Leo tunajifunza how to say. Jinsi ya kusema. We, we, we had those sentences, but today we are going to drill to learn in detail about the, how to say how to. Yeah. So, look at this sentence. I will show you how we dance. Uh -oh. I will show you how to dance like Maasai. You? Have you seen Maasai dance? You? They start with this height, then they go to this height. Then they go to that height. Then they go far away. So, I will show you how to dance like Maasai. I will show you today. Okay. So, how do you translate that sentence in Swahili? <laughs> you can try. Pause the video and try. Try, try, try to translate it by yourself. And then you will check. So, the translation will be, I will show you. You know that. That is too easy. Nita, 
nita kuonyesha nitakuonyesha i'll show you nitakuonyesha how to you know how to how to is either you say jinsi you either say jinsi ya or namna ya so nitakuonyesha jinsi ya if you say namna ya you are fine it's good sentences as, as well jinsi ya au nitakuonyesha namna ya to dance to dance namna ya kucheza 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 ngoma kucheza ngoma like masai kama kama masai so nitakuonyesha uh, jinsi ya kucheza ngoma kama masai masai we call them wa masai you know wa masai so nitakuonyesha jinsi ya kucheza ngoma kama wa masai here i want you to 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 look at this i want you to understand the full every time you have your sentence in your sentence once you have how to how to in your english sentence once you have how to in swahili sentence you will have the infinitive you need to have the infinitive ku there so jinsi ya ku nitakuonyesha jinsi ya ku so you say how to then you need to have this infinitive because in your english sentence in your english sentence it says i will show you how to you remember to is infinitive so you have the ku here we we are going to see other sentences that not have that how to no infinitive no to there and how are we going to do that you will know in this video so nitakuonyesha jinsi ya kucheza ngoma kama wa masai i will show you how to dance like a masai look at this sentence look at this sentence before i show you the difference the the, the sentences without the infinitive translate this one first she will show you how to take good pictures she will show you how to take good pictures how do you translate that sentence eh she ata ata kuonyesha ata kuonyesha how to we need to have the infinitive there jinsi o namna ya kupiga kupiga picha atakuonyesha namna ya kupiga picha nzuri so you have you need to have either jinsi ya ku or namna ya ku you understand that so now let's go see how we are going to say a little bit similar to that sentence but without the infinitive in the english sentence how are you going to say those english sentences which does not have that infinitive like i will show you how masai dance i'm going to show you how masai dance this sentence is different from i will show you how to dance like masai I will show you how Maasai dance. This in Swahili, this is totally different sentence. How is it going to be? Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. I know you want to know. I want to, you want to learn this. So, check this. I will show you. That's easy. Nita Nita ku onyesha. I will show you. Nita kuonyesha how masai dance we have how here and we have a noun we have how and we have a noun so because we have how and a noun we need to have jinsi first nitakuonyesha 
jinsi or you can say namna wamasai wamasai wama sai dance wa na vio cheza ngoma so you say nitakuonyesha i will show you how masai dance not how to dance like masai how masai dance jinsi jinsi wa masai wana vio so we have our vio you see we have our vio here we have our vio and that is our topic today vio vio as how you see this vio as how wana vio cheza i will tell you something sometimes you will see sentences without a jinsi without a jinsi you will see this sentence like this but it does not have jinsi but it have the vio and more, you need to remember this every time you see those sentences it means you do not have a noun like here we we, we put a jinsi here because we have the noun wa masai so nitakuonyesha jinsi wa masai wanavyocheza ngoma but if we, let's say we do not have i will show you how they dance if you want to say i will show you how they dance without saying how masai dance you just say i will show you how they dance then that sentence you don't need to say jinsi you can just say nitakuonyesha wanavyocheza ngoma do you understand if you say i will show you how they dance you just say nitakuonyesha wanavyocheza ngoma because this vio this vio means how i will show you how they dance nitakuonyesha wanavyocheza ngoma but once you have the noun it sounds like double you have double vio you have jinsi and you have vio here once you have a noun you say i will show you how masai dance nitakuonyesha jinsi wa masai wanavyo cheza ngo because jinsi means how and vio here means also how so it sounds like it's double but no we, did, we didn't need this jinsi here but we have it to make an emphasis to make a uh, to to have a better test because we have a noun here look at this sentence i will i will show you i will show you i will show you how i dance how are you going to translate that sentence it will say nita kuonyesha nita kuonyesha how i dance you don't have a noun not how masai dance not how the teacher dance not how my mom dance nita kuonyesha ni na vio cheza ngoma it sounds you know ngoma is the music in swahili ngoma is the music yeah or local dance to dance is kucheza ngoma okay how are you going to translate this sentence now i will teach you how to cook wali wanazi i will teach you how to cook wali wanazi do you know wali wanazi ninapenda ninapenda wali wanazi wali is the rice nazi you remember nazi coconut yes the rice which was cooked by coconut with the coconut eh? uh, the the rice which was cooked with the coconut that rice has a coconut taste that is Ninapenda wali wanazi. I like wali wanazi. So I will teach you how to cook wali wanazi. So how do you translate this sentence? Uh, pause the video and translate this sentence by yourself because I have 
given you the full explanation about how to use how, jinsi, vyo. Okay, so this sentence is going to be, I will teach you, nita, nita ku fundisha, nita ku fundisha how to. To is infinitive. Jinsi o namna ya ku pika wali wanazi. Nita kufundisha jinsi ya kupika wali wanazi. You see that? How to cook wali wanazi. Coconut rice. Hmm? You, are you, do you call it? You call it coconut, coconut rice? I don't know. I don't know. Well, English is your language. But we call this kind of food is wali wanazi. This is African food. I will teach you how my mother cooks wali wanazi. We have a noun in this sentence. We have a noun in this sentence. So you remember? We need to have double how. We need to have jinsi and we need to have vio in this sentence because we have a noun. How my mother cooks wali wanazi. How do we translate this sentence? I will teach you. Nita kufundisha. Nita ku fundisha. How jinsi mama yangu. Jinsi mama yangu cooks ana vio pika ana vio pika wali wanazi wali wa nitakufundisha jinsi mama yangu anavyopika wali wanazi see look at this sentence i will teach you i will teach you how we need how in this sentence I will teach you how. So now, how do you translate this sentence? How do you say this sentence in Swahili? I will teach you how she cooks wali wanazi. We do not have that noun. We just have the subject, but we do not have the noun like mama yangu, mwalimu. We do not have like a masai. Or how Tanzanians cooks, cook wali wanazi. If we had how Tanzanians cook wali wanazi, we could have jinsi and vyo. But here we do not have the noun. We just have the subject, but we do not have a noun, actual noun. So we just have vyo. So how do you translate this sentence in Swahili? This sentence is going to be I will teach you. Nita Nita ku fundisha Nita kufundisha how she cooks. Anavyo pika wali wanazi. Nita kufundisha anavyo pika wali wanazi. Safi, safi, safi sana. 